All right, welcome back everybody. So today uh, this, we uh, finished up our latest uh, APU EPU install. So we had to go with a little bit design on this current truck, uh, the way this Kenworth was spec'd out, the frame, the cross members, we couldn't do a drop-in battery box. I know the first thing somebody's gonna say is, oh, it's gonna hit the trailer when you turn it or whatever. Um, we mocked this up first and actually took it out to a trailer and jockeyed around over 90 degrees and uh, we had about three inches or so of clearance at the closest point. So I feel pretty safe about it. Uh, this box here actually worked out quite perfect for four batteries. It's almost as if it was made for four batteries, uh, type 31s, uh, the lithiums that we're using. And uh, we also put our DC to DC charger in here as well. So it worked out very well that everything self-contained right here in this box. So we put the AC unit, uh, the outside unit, off to the side on this unit, on, the, on this Kenworth. And the reason we'll show you here once we go inside is uh, this is a very new, or it's a new unit for us uh, and it's not available. I know some of the past units we've used have been available like on Alibaba and eBay and stuff like that. Um, so this is a proprietary unit and it's, a, it's not available everywhere out there. So you're going to have to go through one of our distributors or the distributors we work with to get this particular unit. But it is an under the bunk unit and we've hooked in to the OEM or stock uh, ventilation system in the sleeper with this particular unit. So. With that, uh, we'll go ahead and show you what's in the box and then we'll go inside. Okay, so um, you'll notice first thing before we open the box here, we've got two locks. Uh, so with a lot of customers, these are really expensive batteries, uh, almost $800 each. So uh, you got a lot of money sitting in this box here. One of the concerns we had with some of our customers is somebody stealing the batteries, um, which, which you could do with some battery boxes that are out there on the market. This one here, unless you got a torch or uh, some heavy duty grinding or whatever, um, you're gonna have a, with the way this box locks, you're going to have a hard time stealing the batteries. So, so we'll go ahead and open her up. So we've got our four lightning volt lithium batteries in here in parallel for 12 volts. Uh, 60 amp DC to DC charger here. And it has key switch power, so this only charges or draws anything from the, the other battery bank, uh, the starting battery bank and the alternator unless the truck is running. Uh, we've got a 100 amp inline fuse to the appliance. Um, everything else is a 150 amp fuse here at the uh, battery from the DC, the DC charger to the batteries and 150 amp up at the, uh, at the battery bank on the, the starting battery bank. So, so everything, like I said, fit in here pretty nice. Uh, put a nice battery hold down in here and um, that's pretty much our battery bank. And uh, same outside unit that we've used in the past, so not much difference there. So before we go up to the inside, uh, I got my clamp meter here, DC amps. We're going to go ahead and check. So here's where our draw's at. So right now we are pulling uh, just over 20 amps of power. I know it is not really hot in here right now, um, but like I said, it's continuous 20 amps at this point and we're running continuous. I mean, with heat and temperature and as the compressor works harder, it's going to draw more amperage. Each one of these are a 100 amp hour, so four batteries times four, 400 amp hours. So theoretically at this amperage draw right now, um, this unit would run 20 hours continuously. But obviously once we get hotter, we're gonna go up to 30, maybe even 40 amps on this and you're gonna have a little bit less. With that amperage as well, like I said, we're running a 60 amp DC DC charger. So 400 amps um, divided by that 60 amps is right around 6.6 .6 hours to charge fully back to capacity. So we've hooked in to our stock vents. I mean, you can feel a pretty good airflow about, you know, four feet away. Or, and then we'll take a look under the bunk. So here's our panel right here. This does have remote control and that's why the way the wiring and everything is. I mean, we do have some flexibility where we can put this panel, but we decided to put it down here um, for ease of installation. So here is our inside unit. And what we've done here is tapped in to your uh, existing ducting using some pipe fittings. So pretty clean install, uh, pretty small footprint. I mean, everything just kind of went underneath the stock stuff here. So, so that's uh, pretty much what we have here. I mean, we had her set at 60. Um, I think it was about 65 in here when we started. And uh, we're down at, at 60 now. So. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this stall. So we got a lot of things coming out down the road here. Uh, we've got some lithium starting batteries coming in. 
Um, so that'll allow us just to replace your existing uh, lead acid or AGM batteries and run off of one battery bank as well. So that's going to lower the cost of you know more entry level friendly system. Um, we've also got a 24 volt system coming out. That's the same same profile as this. So basically the same size uh, outside unit, same inside unit, but 20 volts, a little bit more capacity. Um, that one's going to be a little bit more expensive. I believe for this particular system right here, we're right around $8,500, depending on what we have to customize. So all that information will be available on our website. Probably going forward, I know we've had a lot of calls and, and trying to get exact pricing and all that. Uh, going forward, what we're probably looking at doing, because every truck is different unless you have a fleet where you spec'd out 500 trucks all the same. What we're looking to do going forward is to have people come in, do like an hour consultation where we can look at the truck, get measurements, and then we can really fine tune what we're going to do and give you an exact price um, and, and different options. So stay tuned for that as well. But if something you're interested in, uh, give us a call, check out the website. Um, and as always, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell for the uh, updates and like the video.